Coast. Okay, we got some light snow coming down. Let's go take a look over my shoulder at Dixon City. Yeah, it's still coming down up there, but very lightly, 26 degrees currently. It's cold, but it's not that cold. Look at that, 32 degrees. That's not too bad. In Allentown, Mount Pocono, you're currently at 25 degrees. It looks like you're the only one right now that is below 30. It's in the low 30s out there in the Susquehanna River Valley. Quick look at our satellite radar. Here's the system. It wasn't a big one, and it's a real quick mover, and you can see just a few snow showers and maybe some flurries still to come this morning, but otherwise high pressure is going to try and build in. It's going to be cloudy and you could see a couple of snow showers, a little impulse up there to the north. Could see a couple of snow showers up there in the northern tier. That'd be about it. Then we're going to get a break, but it's not going to last for long. Winter storm watch going on for just about the entire area and that's for a system coming in late. Well, not later tomorrow. Actually, it's going to be by mid afternoon tomorrow, I'm afraid, and that's going to go through Sunday night. But another quick hitter, it should be out of here by Monday morning. And that's for right now, the National Weather Service is calling for four to eight inches as we get through the nighttime hours. Here's a low pressure system up there in the Great Lakes that could cause that scattered snow shower up there in the northern tier. And you can see the system we had is off the coast. And if you look off to the west, that little blob of snow, that's another system. That is going to be the one that's going to be bringing us the snow for Sunday into Monday. Let's put the maps in motion. Could see a couple of snow showers up there later this afternoon. High pressure builds in, looking pretty good overnight tonight and then to start the day tomorrow. But then as that pushes off the coast, the snow starts to come in tomorrow afternoon. And that's going to continue overnight, but it looks like the heaviest snow is going to stay off to our east as that low pressure system stays far enough off the coast. Then high pressure is going to build in, going to get very cold next week. We're going to be looking at lows in the single digits as we go through the week next week. And we could see a couple of snow showers as we go through the week also. So you don't be surprised if you see a pop-up snow shower. Now, this is a model that shows, and I think this is going to be pretty accurate. The heaviest snow is going to be to the, well, it's going to be to the east of the Wyoming Valley. So the further west and north you go, the less snow you'll get around the Poconos down in the uh, Lehigh Valley and then points east over in New Jersey. I think they'll get the lion's share. How much yet? Just not sure. We have to keep watching that track of the storm. But for today in that northern tier, you're going to be looking at the mid to upper 30s with a chance of a couple of scattered snow showers. 39 in Tuncanic, Carbondale, you're currently going to come in at 37. Now look at the next seven days. Again for tomorrow, Brianna, we're going to start off dry, but then the snow develops in the afternoon, high of 36. Could see a snow shower early on Monday. Otherwise, we're going to be looking at breaks of sun as we get in the afternoon hours, high of 30. Then Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, highs only in the low to mid-20s and a chance of some scattered snow showers Tuesday and Wednesday. And looking out Thursday, we have a chance of snow showers again as another system makes its way towards us, high of 34 degrees. And you still have a few hours. You can download that new weather app and be ready for this latest snowstorm that we're going to have tomorrow afternoon. Have all the latest weather information at your fingertips. So it's been pretty active, you know. This is our second system in uh, two days, and we have another one coming in tomorrow. Yeah, somebody remind Mother Nature that we're now in March so she could stop the snow. Well, some of you ought to remind Puxatawney Phil. <laughs> I think you and you and Puxatawney Phil need to duke it out. We're going to have it out. Yeah, we don't get along at all. And you were saying that you don't think that this weekend is probably the last of the snow. No, I don't. I think we're still going to see a couple more bouts of it. Yeah. All right. Thanks, all right. Kevin.